Hey everybody, I'm Brad Means. I'm Jenny Montgomery. Thanks so much for joining us. It is a plea to spare the life of an accused killer. Today, priests gathering on the steps of the Richmond County Courthouse asking the acting district attorney to spare the life of Stephen Murray, the man accused of murdering Father Rene Robert. News Channel 6's Ashley Campbell has been following this story since it broke last April. And Ashley, this whole thing comes from something Father Robert himself wrote more than 20 years ago. The Catholic Bishop's words did not fall on deaf ears today. They came together to ask the acting district attorney, Hank Sims, to not seek the death penalty for Stephen Murray. It was Father Robert's wish and a declaration of life that he signed back in 1995. It was a day of faith and hope outside the Richmond County Courthouse as bishops from Georgia and Florida gathered to make a plea for Father Rene Robert. He was allegedly killed by Stephen Murray in Burke County of last year. If convicted, Mr. Murray deserves punishment for the brutal murder of Father Rene. The bishops say that Father Robert's idea of punishment isn't the same as the state. In 1995, he signed a declaration of life stating that if he should be murdered, he doesn't want the person responsible to be put to death. Probably never did he believe that it would ever come to see the light of day, but it did. And so we believe that it is necessary to keep that voice and that request, that declaration of life of Father Robert uh, loud and clear. The Catholic Church expressed that the death penalty only perpetuates the circle of violence and only continues the disrespect of human life. The old law was a tooth for a tooth and an eye for an eye, but the new law is to love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. After the conference, acting district attorney Hank Sims listened to the three bishops spearheading the church's mission. We were given a fair and honest uh, hearing. Uh, but Mr. Sims was also quite clear in letting us know that the process is a lot more complicated. Now only time will tell if their prayers and requests to the state will pay off for Father Robert and for Stephen Murray. And if the district attorney does try the case in which it currently stands, we work harder. In a release, acting district attorney Hank Sims says that he had a very cordial conversation with the bishops, but he did not comment to any decision made regarding Stephen Murray's case. Now, it's not just the bishops who are fighting to see that Father Robert's wishes are carried out. Father Robert's family is aware of this declaration of life and say they support the fight to see his wishes, wishes carried out in the courtroom. Jenny? All right, thanks, Ashley.